Hello, this video is going to show you how to register from our new system called Navigate. The new registration system works on a regular computer. It does not work on your phone, and we do um, suggest that you use Google Chrome as your browser. The system operates best using Google Chrome. So you're going to begin on the VVC website, vvc.edu, and you're going to use this new feature called MyVVC. You're going to go ahead and log in with your own username and password that has been provided by the college. And when you, when you log in, you'll be on your launch pad. And your launch pad has several icons on it. And the idea behind this launch pad is that you log in once and then it passes your username and login uh, through to all these other programs that you're going to be using while you're on campus with us. So the one that we're going to be using now for registration is called Navigate. It's right here. You used to use WebAdvisor. So I'm going to click on that really quickly to show you the change. WebAdvisor is not going away, but the link register for sections is not going to take you to the place that it used to. Now you're going to be in Navigate instead. So instead of jumping to WebAdvisor and then being pushed into Navigate, you can just register for, for your classes by going directly into Navigate. And just like it did there, it will automatically take your username and password and push you through into this system. When you're in Navigate, there's two pieces, Explore and Planner. And Planner is where you're going to find your course plan that you and your counselor have put together. So you're going to see that you have classes on there that you your counselor put on there. And then you'll click on View Plan. And then you'll see all the classes that they suggested or changed around on your plan. And you'll put Accept All Suggestions. Now, if you met with a counselor, that's how you will have a plan already existing in the system. But if you didn't meet with a counselor, you can still put classes on your plan yourself, and there will be other videos to show you how to do that. So now this plan has some classes on it, and I'm going to show you how to register. On the right side here is your plan, and it shows each semester and the classes that are planned. It notes that they're planned and future semesters. Currently, registration for winter and spring is not quite up and ready yet, and so that's why this button just says pick times. But when it comes time to officially register for winter and spring classes, the button is going to look like this, view and edit schedule. So I'm just going to use this as an example. Let's say a student is registering for these classes. They're going to go ahead and click view and edit schedule. And now we're in the registration area. And what you'll notice is that on the left side is the semester that you're registering for and all the classes that you're planning to take. And on the right hand side is a calendar, which is going to show your schedule. Up at the top is where the register button is. So once you pick all the classes that you are going to take, all the, you know, picking all the class times that you're going to take, you'll hit register. This yellow box right here is where you would enter in authorization codes. So if a class is full and you end up on a wait list, this is where you're going to go in order to enter in that four digit uh, code authorization code that's given to you by the instructor if the instructor has space and the instructors will be providing that to you via student email. And then down below, you'll see your calendar. So what you'll do is you know what classes you want to take, but now you have to pick out the sections. So I'm going to start with the guidance 50. Notice that up here it tells us that some sections are available, they still have space. Some are conflicting with something else I already have on my plan, and then some are full. So obviously, if um, the classes are full, that would mean that you're adding yourself to the wait list. In this example, I am going to be adding to a class that does have space, so it's under available. And I'm going to be adding myself to this one right here. I looked at it. I looked at the time. It works for me. So there's two ways I can uh, sign up for this class. I could either grab the class and drop it over here. 
And as you can see, it's going to show up on my calendar, but it doesn't start until this date. So if I kind of uh, go a little bit further down to that week, then that's where it starts showing up on my calendar. But if I'm on an earlier week in the semester, it's not showing up because the, the class is, does not meet yet. It starts later in the semester. And then down here, I'm going to see that it's a scheduled course, but I'm not yet registered. It's like when you're shopping, you put stuff in your shopping cart and then you hit the submit button, which in this case is the register button. So that's how you can register for a course. So we'll go ahead and do that now. It will give you a summary that says it's been a success. You can hit got it. And now you can see it changed. It says that you're registered in this class. It doesn't start until the 26th. So like I said, you're going to see it a little bit later down on your on your calendar. This is the entire semester. Now I'm going to show you how to waitlist for a class. So this art class here, um, the one that I want to add is full. And I already know that it's full, so I'm going to look under here. And the one that I'm going to add is actually this one right here. And so another way that you can add classes in this system is you can grab them and drag them over to your calendar like I did before. Or you can click on the three little lines here and then you could choose your option. I also want to note that when you're looking at classes, it will divide them up by whether they're online or on campus. If we look over this menu here, see these ones are on main campus. And if we scroll down, we would see some online ones. So know that sometimes they're separated out that way. So let me go back to this one. And this is the one I want to add. And so I'm going to hit add to wait list. And it tells me again, this class is full, which I already knew, but it has a wait list. And then I'll put, yep, add me to the wait list. And then I'll get another transaction summary that says my class has been waitlisted. I hit got it and over here, on the right side, I'll see not only the course that I'm registered for, but also the course that I'm waitlisted for. So again, just make sure to be checking your email diligently if you are on a waitlist. And just before classes begin, that's when instructors will start emailing out those authorization codes. And you would go into the yellow area up here, um, entering your authorization code, and then the system will automatically register you for that class and send you an email notifying you that you have now been moved from the waitlist into the class. So that's the basic information you need to register in Navigate. As I mentioned before, there will be other videos showing you how to do other things in, inside of Navigate, but I hope you enjoyed this quick tutorial and watch our other videos. Thanks so much and take care.